One of the biggest issues in the world today is the lack of education for girls in many developing countries. Though there are a plethora of facts released on an almost yearly basis that state why a young girl should stay in school and be educated, the fact of the matter is that many girls remain out of school. According to UNICEF's Gender Equality Report, girls who are uneducated are five times more likely to lack information regarding AIDS and HIV. Furthermore, out of the 110 million children in the world who are not in school, two-thirds of those children happen to be girls. However, that is not where the statistics end. Other reports state that when a young girl in a developing country is given the opportunity to complete seven or more years of school, she is more likely to marry four years later and have 2.2 less kids. A girl who has even one extra year of primary schooling will have an increased rate of about 10 to 20%. What does another year of secondary school have in store for a girl? A wage increase of about 15 to 25 percent. Thus, there are obvious benefits to girls being educated in the developing world. But there is also the looming issue, which is the fact that many girls are left uneducated. For many people who want to change this tragedy, they believe that the entire social system of a country needs to be changed in order for a girl to receive education. Unfortunately, drastic changes that are done on a large scale can sometimes be unorganized and ineffective. To make sure such a travesty does not occur, it is important to think of small changes that will result in big differences. One of the simplest and most successful solutions to solving a lack of education for girls in a plethora of developing countries, like India, Ghana, and Zambia, is to provide girls with bicycles to ride to school. What do bicycles have to do with education? For girls in a myriad of developing countries, everything. Studies conducted in the countries mentioned before, India, Ghana, and Zambia, show that many girls were unable to continue with their education because it took them three to four hours to walk to school. Since girls were expected to complete chores at home, like fetching water, assisting with homely duties like cooking and cleaning, and taking care of younger siblings, it was just too time consuming and difficult for the girls to make the trek back and forth from school. Simply put, the girls weren't in school because getting to school was a trial within itself. For that reason, the Chief Minister of Bihar, India, Nitish Kumar, created a fully subsidized bicycle program for girls with good grades and high school attendance. Girls who meet the program's criteria are allowed to apply for grants in order to receive a bicycle and school uniform. In 2007, the first year the program was put into effect, statistics proved that there was an increase of 163 thousand girls attending class 9. Today, the dropout rate for girls from class 9 to class 10 has gone from 2.5 million to only 1 million, which is an astonishing number. The bicycle program has proved to be an extraordinary solution for a plethora of girls who wanted to continue their education but were unable to because of transportation issues. In Ghana, a similar story was being told by hundreds of girls. Getting to school was a trial because school was too far to walk to. For every 100 boys in Ghana who were enrolled in primary school, only 89 girls were enrolled. In secondary school, for every 100 boys going to school, there were only 80 girls attending classes. UNICEF's Ghana Education Officer, Biku Gideon Conlin, worked with schools and education officials in order to help solve the education gap between boys and girls. Once again, bicycles came to the aid of girls who were dedicated to continuing their education, but found school to be too far to walk to. After identifying promising female students, blue bicycles were given to the girls to facilitate with their transportation. Follow-ups on the girls proved that the bicycles significantly cut down the time it took for the girls to walk to and from school. Over the past three years, more than 6,000 girls have used their bicycles to get to school and continue on with their education. A similar bicycle program has also been established in Zambia through an NGO called Bicycles for Educational Empowerment, or BEEP. In 1998, a study showed that girls in Zambia spent much of their time on productive work, more so than the adult men. Furthermore, the girls were at a higher risk of contracting the AIDS HIV virus, suffering from sexual harassment, and facing other issues. Like the programs in India and Ghana, BEEP makes sure to find girls dedicated to their education and has parents sign contracts to assure that their daughters are using their bicycles to get to school. Now, more girls are managing to get to school, graduate, and continue on with their education. 
The success of the bicycle programs in India, Ghana, and Zambia shows that it is not always necessary to overhaul a country's entire social system in order to create effective solutions to major issues. Many times, it is important to assess such situations, such as the lack of education for girls in developing countries from various angles, and find a simple solution that will have a lasting and effective impact. Small changes, like providing bicycles to girls in order to cut down the time it takes them to walk to school, can sometimes have the most sustainable effects in the lives of thousands of children.